Welcome back to Family Gamer TV. Now we've been on the show floor EGX working through lots of these levels on Skylanders Trap Team. Really excited to see more about the game. Um, we've looked previously at um, level 7 Monster Marsh but we're really excited about getting on to Telescope Towers level 8 of the game with some new um, villains to trap. Um, some of the villains we didn't trap at the end of the last game and I love the look of Viva, not Viva Pinata, Pinata, um, the villain there that's coming up. Now I'm going to be playing this in co-op mode so it means that we're going to use both of our Skylanders characters at the same time working through the level. Now if we're going to get through the level we need to both um, not die so both me and my my partner here um, playing as food fight um, needs, to, needs to proceed without losing lives in the game and keeping their health up. So here we are again we haven't got any sound but um, you can see the visuals of what's happening of course Callie's introducing this next stage of our mission and we go down I'm sure she's saying something very clever um, perhaps slightly cutting as we arrive on the level and here we go we're going to be playing a snapshot and food fight these are the only two skylanders we've got in the game but let's see how we can get so uh, I think I need to talk to Callie some more these guys seem a little loopy I guess that's what happens when someone steals your dreams or maybe that's just how scientists are but in any case talk to these guys and see if they can tell you where the dream catcher is right so we've got a bunch of scientists in this so come on food fight you need to follow me um, yeah over this way yeah if you follow I'll get these ones if you can go over and get the others oh yeah that's interesting so there we were too far apart and again it walked us together like it used to do in, in um, swap force I've been studying floating debris platforms for a while and it looks like that's what we're gonna have to go and sort out lots of floating items in this level so we're gonna follow these coins up this could be pure coincidence but another fellow just arrived shortly before we did. Ah, so perhaps someone's been here already. Hedwig. Skylander, long time no see her. Since we made such a great team back at the swamps, I thought I might help you out here too. Maybe even start with this broken bridge. Ah, I see, so we're going to have to get across there. We're going to do that. We're going to have to fix that bridge. What's this button here? If I jump. Oh, they went up. But anymore. Oh, I see. If I keep jumping, it looks like they're going to move up. I like the way the steam comes out, sort of steampunk feel to the level. Oh, I see the problem here. These pulse blocks are in the wrong position. So if I guess if we're going to have a push puzzle here, we're going to move them. That food fight could give me a hand. Yeah, he's just going to say the same thing again. That's the clue we've got. We've got to move these blocks in line with each other. Now, it seems here that um, perhaps it's time to do the difficulty level we've got it set on, but all we have to do is to push the blocks along every blue um, direction that they're pointing and that solves the puzzle so uh, food fight's not really helping here come on this way we've got to push these blocks that one goes there push it, push it up that one goes oh, does it not push oh thank you so that triggers the light it goes through all four of the blocks and that should then trigger the next part of the puzzle we can come over here that button's popped up nice thanks Hedwig see that did something good now use that pump button to get up and we can finally reactivate the bridge so come on snapshot right I like this so we're not really fighting here oh I oh, see each time we jump on the button it goes up I like the sort of the feel of the level there was sort of fabric-y um, texture to, to the ground on some of these pads and um, the sort of tactile steam coming out of these of these buttons each time you jump on them I like the fact that you can jump on them either as a trap to trap master or as a normal core Skylander and that's our bridge back together cool perhaps this level is going to be one of the easier ones seems like we're making some good progress down here oh what was that what a minute what was that what was that oh it's like a jack-in-the-box I see so there's jack-in-the-box sort of enemies that pop out here you don't seem to be able to fight them just have to avoid them well done food fights leading the way I do like that splash attack but probably not the best place to do it right and my um my arrows have been upgraded they seem to have a homing in so Hedwig's saying oh man would you believe it the key is stuck up there what's it doing how can we get up there to get it back I guess we'll, that would be our job to sort it out I'm not sure why Hedwig can't sort, of short it, sort it out for himself so um, yeah, just gonna, I guess this is the right way down here um, often the levels in Skylanders um, and Trap Team is true as well they sort of have a branching sort of 
element to them and I sometimes feel like I'm not sure if I'm going forwards or backwards I kind of like to be told whether I'm going the wrong way and then like in Mario Kart it tells you you're going backwards that would be a bit helpful so I probably should wait for food to try here or perhaps I'll just go ah. oh he's not going to come as well so it's making some pretty good progress what's up over here can you go over there give it a whack give it a splash is that a jump nice that's nice that's quite nice well I missed the coins ah I'm going to have to get back I can't seem to get all those. So how do we do this? Ready for another magical upgrade? Oh, I see that's Persephone. So let's upgrade Food Fight. Which one can we afford? Just the first one, Squash Special. So that's a nice little extra attack. Oh, a Food Fight immediately falls off. Uh, come on, mate, you need to follow me. Uh, I think it's, it's still... Those Jack in the Boxes have got to really, really watch out for them. We make our way around the edge of this, edge of this level. I'm really looking forward to getting Trap Team sort of at home in, in, in my family. I'm looking forward to seeing what the kids make of it first hand. Oh look, Dreamcatcher's back. Do we get a chance to actually catch her and trap her? She'd be a good villain to have on our side. Yeah, I know that they're really excited to, to get it. Um, and they enjoyed Swap Force, um, but I don't think we played it quite as much as we did Giants. And I think potentially Trap Team will be the moment that they come back to the game. Well, I guess you've been lazy or missing what is she saying so dream catchers sort of giving us a few sort of taunts there's a jukebox over there in the corner where you can go hey wait a minute oh, i've been left behind how do i get up there i don't know we stuck uh oh looks like i got a bit stuck the food fight's gone on oh i see the platform comes down yes yeah, so i think the characters and it sort of feels like a return to sort of classic skylander style as i said we really enjoyed sort of swap force and particularly the toys we really like the sort of the mix match of the toys um but i know that they're excited to play trap team um the trapping mechanic a bit i think but it's mainly just the, the some of the characters they've really latched onto um like torch and is it is a favorite and some of these these trap masters so i'm going to keep jumping on that it looks like i'm pumping those blocks so now I guess we come down here to the chamber entrance and we can we move those, yep, move those into position. So here, look, I'm just we're just going to push, I think, all of these blocks until those blue arrows have disappeared. And then once they disappeared, you know you've done the puzzle. It felt like there was some elements previously where, you know, you didn't know which direction it was to push. Um, you, could, you could get it wrong. So here it seems more straightforward, so that's going to trigger that light going through all four blocks. There we go. So let's we can press on now. What's up here? Now another of these pads to jump on. If I go around, I guess we just carry straight on. Back to back, Jack and Stack. <laughs> What's that mean? Oh look, the key. Here we are. I oh, see we've sort of come full circle. And now we've got the key. So where where is the? It's over here, isn't it? I think it's over here. Food fights this way. Oh no. Oh that's not a key door. Where is it? Oh yes. Oh yeah. You're right. It's over by that door, so if we come over here, pop the key in, that should open the door with a tap of ZR, as we have on the Wii U. I like it on the Wii U. Oh, Hedwig, what a crazy place, full of sleeping something. Yeah, we need to we need to sort of keep going. Perhaps we should have read all that. It's something my kids are always doing, is skipping the cutscenes, and sometimes we do play a bit like this, and so we're not quite sure what's going on. And sometimes that means we get a bit stuck, so hopefully we've not missed anything vital. These, uh, oh, these, these scientists are fast asleep. Keep attacking the beds until they wake up. Do I just shoot it then? How do I wake him up? The ZR. Oh, and then Y. Yep. Pressing or tapping the Y. That shakes the bed and then they wake up. There we are. Yeah, so on Wii U, like first hand, playing the game, it looks absolutely brilliant. Um, I, would, I wouldn't be able to really pick between this and say PS4, Xbox One. I'm sure if you had them side by side there would be some difference, um, but the Wii U one, it looks really good. Certainly, you know, it's a big upgrade on what you've got just on the Wii. It's nice again to see that uh, Skylanders is supporting the Wii version of the game. Here we are, so we can sort of play through this. I know that um, a lot of viewers have the, have just have a Wii and don't have um, other consoles to move on to so to be able to just buy the game on the way and not be forced to upgrade I think it's a really nice touch so Dreamcatcher seems to be getting more and more annoyed with us but we haven't I think we're actually at the point of being able to trap her or we'll take her on straight although we've got a whole bunch of enemies here it seems like quite a small area we're fighting in here so 
I'm expecting to sort of <laughs> look at these eyeballs all floating in in bubbles. So all these enemies are coming in in bubbles, and that's as that. Oh yeah, that's so by defeating all those enemies, we've unlocked this um, jump switch. I think we could call it, and we're going to have to move these blocks into the So gameplay-wise, you know, this is very similar to what we're used to. Um, this you know, this could be straight out of the playbook of other Skylanders games. I don't think that's a bad thing. I think you know that's what we like about these Skylanders experiences. We know what we're getting. And it's nice just to sort of kick back with some friends um, and work through these adventures and then come back and play it on a harder level. And then come back and play it on Nightmare, you know, and make sure we get all these side quests. So here, obviously, we want to get through to the end. I'm not sure if we'll do that today. Um, you know, we've only got a limited amount of time in these demos. And We've only got these two characters, so we both have to stay alive. But if we can, we'll get to the end. And it's but if I oh sorry, food fight. Uh, I think you're a bit stuck here. We'll probably come back down. Oh look, a soul gem for Batspin. Of course, this is the Freto Lay named um, Skylander that was voted in. So we can have a look. Well, do you want to see this? Yes. Let's preview. We can see Batspin's attacks. Look at that. And it's, I think I've seen this already, but it's nice to see it in the game. Well, who is that? There's so many villains and enemies in Skylanders Trap Team that, you know, I, I come back to it and there's a whole bunch more have, have been revealed and I find it hard to keep up. Which I think is a really good thing to, to have a high volume of Skylanders. It's nice. And I wonder what version you'll be playing it on. Do you have a, do you have a favourite console? Uh, I'm really keen on the tablet version. The fact that, you know, my kids play with the Skylanders toys on the carpet. Um, you know, they make up some adventures, they throw them around, they bash them together. And now, rather than having to take them from the carpet back to the TV screen, they can bring the game down to the tablet, pop it into their um, uh, tablet version portal, and then play the game there on the carpet with their Skylanders. It kind of just makes sense. And then I also like the fact that you can then take it with you, um, playing with those, sort of, those instant um, characters. Oh, look, here's Pinata. Yeah, we made quick work of him. We didn't trap him, but we did. We did do away with him. I guess we'll trap him later. Um, is that Sky Stones in there? Um, yeah, but I like that. And then you can then play the tablet version on the go, and then come back and carry on. There's a nice back and forth. Who's this galley? So he's saying he's locked in. Been playing Sky Stone Smash in here ever since, and I'm pretty good. So we've got a Sky Stones Smash challenge. Now I like the fact that on the 3DS you can play Sky Stone Smash as a standalone game, and you can play it multiplayer wirelessly against other characters, other people, other characters. Also on the Wii U, I like the fact once it's unlocked, you can just go and play Skystone Smash straight off on the on the tablet controller, on the gamepad. Because it, it's a game that um, my kids really like. In fact, if there was a standalone game on iOS or something, I know that we'd be getting it. So let's pay, place that one up here. It's this food fight um, controlling this battle. I see he got attacked because we, we were there bring in another of ours. We got, oh, that's a good one to use, yep. Two attack against two attacks, so they, we should do away with him, but we should be safe because we've got three hearts, so we, we don't get killed in that middle row that time. So here we are, and we're going to bring in Pepper Jack. Yes, and he does global damage, I think, to all of them. Does away with a bunch, so he's... We beat him. Completely did away with him. So he still had two stones left in his hand. I'm not quite sure how that works. Still the finer details of Skystone Smash. I'm still um, putting it together. But my kids always come up with loads of interesting strategies for Skystone. And I know that Skystone Smash will have a similar sort of effect. So we've got our key. We're in a food fight. Pop it in the lock. And we can then move on. Dan, did you see that? The Wii remote popped up there. Because we're playing on the Wii U. And he's playing with the Wii remote controller. And it used like a gesture control to unlock. Which is, you know, it's kind of a... A small minor thing but I think it's quite nice um, you know to use though use that motion and it gives us a, a sense of putting something in a lock and twisting a like, nice little bit of extension so here are all these platforms they seem to just appear as you walk onto them um, and if we just keep going yeah we jump up uh, his dream catcher how am I supposed to steal these scientists dreams with you walking ev waking everybody up well, we're not really keen on you stealing these dreams, so we're here to stop you, dream catcher, dream stealer. We want these dreams back in the heads of the scientists. I don't know scientists were particularly famous for dreaming, but obviously here, the scientists dream big. So we've got some waves of attacks coming in. These eyeballs floating in. Are they on bubbles? Yep, they're floating in on bubbles. I use my 
uh, arrow attack. He seems to home in, and even before they're on the floor, goes up and attacks them in the air. That's pretty cool. So I can I can hang back. Oh, who's this? We've got a new villain. Villain alert. Of course, Hood Sickle. Now, I'm not sure if we've got an undead trap, but it would be good to um, do away with him and have him in our, in our vault so we can then go into the vault and pop him in our trap when we need to. And also, I don't think you doesn't feel like you've finished the level unless you've trapped all the villains. Now, this guy, ah, made quick work of him. There you go. So we, I don't think we've got, have we got one, have you got one there? No, we've not got one, so he's going to be headed off to the villain vault and we get a bounty. Which is no bad thing. And that bounty, I think, oh, and there's a new sky stone as well, nice. That bounty gets applied to both our loot pots of money and that will help us go and upgrade. We need to go and upgrade Snapshot again. Look, he's almost got 20,000 coins, that's time. And he's leveled up. It's all going on for Snapshot. And what's here, the green, I think the green area is safe. And they're not going to fall, but the reds are going to fall off. It's obviously just showing us how this works here yeah interesting so we can we can move along I'm not sure it seems to be sort of guiding us and here just but in some ways they're just appearing wherever we're walking but we need to join up these platforms is this back where we came from I think we're gonna go and face dream catch oh here's another scientist there's two here so if I get this one if I wrote this one up you want to go and get food fight go over and get the other one then I can go and collect some treasure we wake him up B, pressing B on the Wii remote there and that means we've got our jump button so I guess again this will send us up 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 until we get to this next level right so we're carrying on we've got more scientists scientists everywhere asleep asleep on the job now I guess Dreamcatcher has put them to sleep so it's not exactly their fault but um, there you go am I going to do both of these or are you going to do that one food fight why well, don't you do it and I'll yeah we're done I will wait for you here so there are a lot of a lot of things to learn, I think, about Skylanders Trap Team. Not only all the new characters, there's these new elements who we're expecting to come, the sun, the sun and the moon, um, and potentially some of those may have light up elements that we, we, we're missing any light core figures this time round. And having seen those elements in that 3DS footage, it seems likely that some of those will light up. Also. Um, toys for Bob, Activision have been relatively cagey about Lightcore. Haven't been saying that there's none this year, uh, but haven't been saying that there are some. Oh, what's back here? I'm just go forwards. I think we should go forwards. Or well, I'll follow Food Fight. I think he wants to go back. So, um, uh, I wouldn't be surprised. There's a jump pad here. Let's get on that. I wouldn't be surprised if those are light up but obviously I think there must be some toys associated with these characters to unlock them because we're in the game we've made some good progress but we're still seeing question marks and we're still not seeing those new elements hey I love Peñata now I think this is an example of a villain who I would really like to see as um, a, a physical figure Peñata is just so nicely designed that I'd pay good money I'd pay my own money um, to have him on my shelf as a, as a collectible Skylander figure I wonder if in the future editions of the game they'll do that. I should, I'm a pretty powered up snapshot here, so I reckon I'll make some pretty quick, quick work of Peñata. Here we are. I think we're playing on easy, so you can see we're, we're, we're progressing pretty quickly, and of course we've come back and play this. Have we got a magic trap? No. We've got a very small collection of traps, so all these villains are going straight into the villain vault in that central hub world. And we can go back there and load them into the traps once we have them. Of course, if you're playing at home, that means that they'll sit there until you go and you buy a trap in the shop. And that is another extra level of things you can buy on Trap Team, um, which means you potentially you spend some, some more money. But at the same time, it's, it is giving you a whole other angle. And there's these whole, what's it, 40 villains in the game. So it's a kind of, it feels kind of hard to complain. What's that over there? We seem to, well, we would have come back for the goal, but. Um, food fights keen to go on I like playing it in co-op this is how I how I see it in my house this is how we play in my family we play together I, I'll play with the boys or they'll play with each other I wonder um I wonder how you do is this how you play do you play co-op or do you like to be in control and just go the one way boy I bet you're wondering what happened to me I was kind of although you haven't been a huge amount of help you still seem to be leading us into trouble Hedwig here we are dream catcher this must be a moment where we actually capture the dream catcher this. It reminds me of, sort of Mario Galaxy, all the blocks fitting together around us as we stand there. Now, is this going to be difficult? Because 
as I said, we've only got these two Skylanders, so if we don't do it with them, we won't be seeing the end of the level, and we certainly won't be catching Kingcatcher. What's she doing? Am I supposed to attack her? I like the like idea of holding... Oh, my, my arrows, when I shoot at her, they go backwards. It's like there's a force field around her. What's going on? There are these red... Oh, there goes. Food fight. There, this, you've got to stay away from the red bits. Oh, there these beds. What do we have to do with the beds? Are they... Ah, oh, I think if once you've woken up the scientists... You can then actually attack Dreamcatcher. We've got her down to half. This looks good. Is she an air? It looks like she's an air um, villain. I can't, while she's in that mode, I can't hurt her. So we've got four of these beds. Can I get rid of the beds? She's doing a little whirlwind at us. This is tense, man. Gosh, we've got to get her because if we don't get past this bit, we're not going to see the rest of the level. She's. Our energy is going down. It's not too bad. Is that it? I feel like we've got more to come. Is this really all Dreamcatcher has got to throw at us? <laughs> can I try and shoot her? My arrows go the opposite direction. I'm not sure what I can do about it. I think it, until you get rid of the beds. What? There's like one, two, three, four, five. There's six beds to get rid of. Seven. And these scientists keep coming in. And all the Everything's disappearing. This is difficult. I know, I know some of my kids sometimes struggle to um, get past some of these levels which are more difficult but um, it seems the difficulty seems pretty pretty static pretty, um, oh there we are we got her so finding the feet dream catcher tick we just need to find an air portal now I'm not sure we've got we're going to have this no nope. so there you go that's the end of chapter 8 telescope towers and dream catcher court here at EGX now we're doing this sort of EGX plays approach to Skylanders trap team because obviously we don't have time to play through the game ourselves but all the families and all the kids playing at um, the EGX which is a, a video game convention in London in Earl's Court contributing to our progress you'll notice um, each time we look at these chapters we'll have some more for you soon and the characters are upgrading and also more levels are unlocked and great to have some of those EGX plays families and kids who contributed to our progress in the game commenting on the video so do let us know if you saw us recording or if maybe you played and trapped some of the villains that we've been using at EGX then let us know but for now if this is the first Family Gamer TV video you've seen then do subscribe because we've got more from Trap Team more from Disney Infinity and more video games that you'll be interested in for your family soon <laughs>